I'm here with Coach McConnell Serio, heading into the new year with a 38 point win over Chicago State. Callista Walters led the team with 24 points and a perfect 12 for 12 from the field. It's a school record, Coach. That's pretty impressive. You know, Callista is so efficient around the basket, and then coming into this game, you know, we talked about this being about us. I mean, we prepared for Chicago State, but after our performance in our last game, you know, we just weren't happy with the way we played. And uh, these last couple of days, getting ready for this game, was the, the focus was about the energy and the efficiency, and um, you know, the ball movement. And I, and Callista was certainly a factor in that because we felt like we had an advantage inside. And when you look at uh, Danielle with 16 and Callista with 24, um, I, I'm proud of Callista. You know, I was talked about putting her back in the game, but I didn't want to ru uh, ruin the score. Record. I said her career high was not as important as the the 12 for school, 12 for 12 uh, being a school record. But uh, I'm just proud of the way the players came back and the way they responded today. Of the ball movement, sharing of the basketball, our transition offense, being able to score off of our defense, and um, great way to end the new year or the, the uh, to start the new year. And everyone contributed, which you kind of already mentioned. Maget Saul even with a few points of her own. That was pretty exciting to watch, especially among the fans. Well, it's an opportunity. We try to mix up our combinations, but then it's a situation you don't want starters to get hurt You know, in, in a game like this at the end of the game. But um, it was an opportunity for us to play everyone, um, get some touches. And uh, I thought we got great performances from players off of our bench. I thought Cassie Walsh did great hitting a couple threes. Pika is a shooter, has that mindset. Um, and we, we, our players are doing a good job of finding her. Kyla Nelson, I thought, gave us a lot of energy and hit some shots. Um, but it was just a, a really good team game. And that's, I think, what was most important for me coming into this game is to see us get back on track offensively. I heard you even say that in the huddle. This is about us. We need to focus on us. Do you think you guys did that as you head into Wake Forest just next week? Well, I mean, we did. I mean, when you, you, we were able to put 80-some points on the board where we have been struggling to score the basketball and, um, you know, mixing up our combinations, getting keeping people fresh as, as we get ready for conference play. We've already played one, but now um, moving forward, you know, every game will be a grind. And, you know, every night we step out on the floor, we have to play great. We need contributions from everyone. And, you know, we need uh, – contributions from perimeter players, post players, and everybody's best moving forward. Um, we're not a team that can win with d depending on one or two players. Well, we look forward to Wake Forest on Thursday coming up soon in the new year. Happy New Year's Eve, Coach. Happy New Year.